Hi, today I'll be showing you how to teach using the concrete, pictorial and abstract approach. Today's learning objective is multiplication of a fraction by a whole number. The first thing that you should do when doing this approach is to decide upon the concrete material that will bring about the desired learning objective. In this case, I will use the fraction wall. After making this decision, we then introduce the learners to the fraction wall. This is done by describing what is a whole. The whole must be described in terms of its shape, its size, and its area. We then introduce other pieces of the whole namely the fraction a half then we describe what a half means in terms of the whole and we can ask the students how many pieces of halves do you think will make a whole because of their prior experience they will see two two halves make a whole the same thing is said for one third you will ask the question, how many thirds will make a whole? They should all say three thirds. Then you have them observe that the whole has the same length, breadth and area. Then you will ask them to observe that three thirds occupies the same area as one whole. They have the same size, shape, and area. The same can be said and done for the other tiles. Note that even one eighth, eight eighths will make a whole, and the whole is the same shape and area as the pink tile that is written one whole. Now that we have exposed the students to what a fraction wall is and we have looked and see the tiles that form the fraction wall, we can use these tiles in the fraction walls to evaluate multiplication problems. Take for example if we had a third times five. This means that I should take the one third tiles and take five of these one third tiles tiles and put them together like this so when we have five tiles that are one third tiles we will have a total of five thirds we can change this five thirds into a mixed number by using the same fraction tile when we align the pink tile to the five thirds, here is how it looks. We would recognize that three of the thirds is equal to one. Now, when we put the other thirds by the side like this, we will have an equivalence of one whole and two thirds. This means that five thirds is equivalent to one and two thirds. Similarly, if I were given 3 quarters times 3, this means that I need 3 set of tiles that are quarters to make 3 quarters, like this. Now, we need 3 set of these to represent 3 quarters times 3. When we put them side by side, they would look like this. And this would be a total of nine quarters so that we can see three quarters times three is nine quarters again we can change this into a mixed number by aligning it to the whole if we were to align the whole to the nine quarters we will have this two holes will be perfectly aligned in the nine quarters. But if you look carefully, 
there is a space that is missing and that space is occupied by a quarter tile like this so that we can see nine quarters is equivalent to two holes and a quarter that is two and a quarter at the pictorial stage the teacher needs to decide on what form the picture will take this would be dependent on the type of transition that is necessary in other words you need to form a relationship between the concrete stage and the pictorial stage i will use a table in this case note that i'm using the same examples because we want to show the transition from the concrete stage to the pictorial stage if i had a third times five then the child will draw a bar and divide this bar into three equal parts like this please note that the child does not necessarily have to get the bar divided into three equal parts this will get better in time as the child develops spatial awareness after the child divides the bar into three equal parts he then uses pencil and shade one third of each of them here there are three thirds in a bar having shaded three thirds we then look for two more thirds so the child will then draw another bar of the same width and divide it into three parts however the child will only shade two more parts since it's five thirds they want so your answer will be three plus the two which is equal to five thirds in your observation column the child should observe that we had five third from multiplying one times five this can be prompted so that the child will be able to observe the pattern similarly three quarters times three would be the drawing of one bar and dividing the bar into four equal parts and after dividing it into four equal parts you shade three of the four parts here is the four equal parts and here are three parts that were shaded this is equivalent to three quarters but we need three sets of these so the child will draw a second and a third bar and divide them into four equal parts then shade three of the four parts like this then the child will count how many parts that are shaded and we would have nine quarters then you have the child observe that three quarters times three is equal to nine quarters but that could have been obtained by multiplying 3 times 3 which is equal to 9 so we have 9 quarters you can provide some examples for the child to do on his own as at this time for example you can give them 5 6 times 4 and have them observe that this is a bar cut into 6 equal parts and five of those six parts are shaded and this particular bar is repeated four times so that the total number of shaded parts would be 26 this again should be observed by multiplying the five by the four and we'd have a dividing this by six like this they would be able to see that the 20 was obtained by multiplying the 5 times the 4. You give them 4 or 5 more examples and after giving them that, you can give them a general rule. 
if you were given the numerator over the denominator and you were asked to multiply this by the whole number, the process used into getting the product will be the numerator times the whole number divided by the denominator. This process helps the child to develop the algorithm on his own. That is the algorithm of multiplying a fraction by a whole number. Having graduated from the pictorial stage, we are now at the abstract stage where complex problems can be solved. This is because we have already determined the algorithm used to multiply a fraction by a whole number in the pictorial stage. Here's an example. If we were given 7 16 times 21, it is difficult to use fraction tiles to do all of this simply because they may not be enough tiles. Again, using a pictorial method might be inefficient and quite cumbersome. And so, the child, having known the algorithm, will multiply the 7 times the 21 and put that all over 16. So that 7 16 times 21 will give me 147 over 16. The child will then convert this to a mixed number because it was in his schema. This would be your answer. 9 and 3 16. Remember that you must try to complete the CPA model in one lesson to allow the learner to discover related concepts on his own. If the teacher had insufficient time to move from all three stages or the students were taking a while on one stage, then and only then you allow for extra time to stay on one particular stage until the child gets the concept. The idea in using this CPA model is to have a deep-rooted understanding of what the child is doing. Hence, the child knows what he is doing and why he is doing it. Here's the end of the video. Remember, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.